I'm hoping now at this stage some of you have got cottoned onto the idea uh, and if you have then you should be working your way through the rest of them uh, and uh, and then watch the video to check your answer. Okay, applying the rule almost don't need to talk here do I? Just here I'm giving you two negative powers instead so negative a quarter times negative four but I told you two negatives make a positive negative negative so it turns into a positive right next one power of two fractions with a negative number there six that times that is one so my answer is minus six hey if you're bored that's no bad thing because it means that you understand it now here, recall that this e shouldn't scare us because e is just a special kind of number. And if you watch on my previous video on about uh, doing um, multiplying by powers, you'll see I, I said, told you already that this is about this figure. All right, instead of writing this number because it goes on and on and on, because we don't want to write this each time, we just give it a, a symbol. Right, so carrying that through. but because it's a negative power we can say now because this is a fraction we can leave it like this or we could tell, say that this is a, a cube root of e1 but if you just want a, a review of how I get this answer I do it like this this is the rule a to the power of a fraction x over y is the same as saying take the a and you take it to the power of x and you take the wife root of that and wife root is available on your calculator so is a to the power of x you can get that from your calculator as well or you could just plug it straight direct into calculator and calculate this thing a to the power of that fraction gives you the same thing you might want to check that good that's the first set and now I'm going to move on to the second set of questions and which require me to modify the rules all right, and the rule is this: take a number, I take it, raise it to the power of a. I take a number y, I raise it to the power of b, and then the whole thing, I raise it to the power of um, power of c. Then that's the same as saying x to the power of a times c times y to the power of b c. As before, x, y, a, b, c's they can be fractions, they can be whole numbers, negative, positive values. We're ignoring complex numbers. And as an aside as well, that this rule can be actually extended to any number. So I've just got two here, being x and y, but I can have this rule for any number of these guys here. Okay. So if I have another one, I could call it z to the power of d. Then here I would have z to the power of d times c. Let's apply this rule now. Let's see some examples. Okay, nice one where we've got all whole numbers. What we do here is we could say the following. We could do everything in the bracket first. I'm not applying the rule here, I'm just doing what's in the brackets first. 2 cubed, put that into my calculator, that's 8, times 4 squared. Okay, 4 squared, 16. That's everything in the brackets. I've done that, and then multiply these two, and the whole thing squared. So that comes to 128 squared which is 16,000 I'm not that interested in the answer anyway it's a number it's a big number okay that's without applying the rules I've just done them in the bracket first and I've just uh, then squared the answer applying the rule what the rule would say let's say or let's do it in a different colour it says that it would be 2 3 times 2, 6, 4 times 4, raised to the power of 2 times 2 is 4. And I can plug that whole lot in the calculator. So that gives me 64 times 256, which again gives me the answer. 
Let's think about efficiency in terms of the um, number of calculations I have to do on a calculator for each one of these methods. So if I'm using this method, I have to calculate this first, so that's one step in my calculator. Here I have to square that, so that's two steps. So let's put here two steps, I two steps to get from here to here. And then I multiply these two, that's an additional step in my calculator. And then I have to square that answer, so that's an additional step. So a total of four operations on my calculator, right? So if we're thinking about speed of things, we want to use a method that uh, uses the least number of computations. Four computations. Let's see, how about this method using the rule? Um, that is one computation. That is new two, another computation. That is two computations there. Then here I have to calculate that. That's one. Here I have to calculate that. That is two as well. Finally, I have to get the answer by actually multiplying these two to get that answer. That's additional one. So this, using the rule in this case, this, actually we have an additional step. Five here was used for there. So if you think about computational efficiency, how fast we can do it in a calculator. Uh, this one here is actually one less operation, isn't it? Anyway, that's by the by. Next. Okay. So applying the rules this time straight away, that's going to be e to the 6 times e to 2 thirds. So we have a fraction here. What the rules then says, 